First of all, what do we have to do to pass this subject? Four things, like I said yesterday. Assignment part one, which is a network design. Part two, which is a network build, which is using virtual machines. A practical test, which is at towards the end, and a theory test. Before we even look at what uh, what this assignment part one is, let's look at when is it due. If we take a look at our a schedule, we can see that hey, today we're going to give you the assignment one as an official start. Okay, we're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss what's involved. But when is it due? It's actually due at the end of week three, so a couple more weeks. Okay, so you'll say, oh, wow, that's pretty quick. Well, to be honest, this first assignment it doesn't take it doesn't take too long. If you obviously get get yourself into the zone of working on it, so let's actually look at what you have to do. All right, so let's give you a bit of a backstory. So basically, the scenario. So let's just scroll down to the scenario. So basically, the scenario is you work for a company called IT Works. Okay, you're working in the capacity of a network. Uh, network designer and network uh, consultant and this company this other company called Earthies Confectionaries a bit of a backstory it's a family owned uh, confectionery um, company if you don't know what a confectionery is they make lollies okay and it's a family owned a typical small business family owned and they've got a yeah you know, they've got about 60 or also employees so still qualifies as a small business If we keep on scrolling, the part one is you're being asked to go into this company. They, they don't have, they only have a peer-to-peer -peer network. Remember how we talked about peer-to-peer -peer network? Even though they've got 60 employees and more than 60 devices, they've only got a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network. Only because they never used to use computers, but they started using computers, they just kept on adding more and more computers. Just like you, more, you might add more and more computers at your, on your home network, right? They just kept on doing it. So currently, Effie's Confectionery is composed of several PCs connected to a basic peer-to-peer -peer network. So if you look at this, so these computers, even though there's only four of them, they represent lots of others. Okay, there's sales PCs, computers in the sales department, uh, computers which are in the office administration department, computers which are in the research development, and then the CEO's laptop. And you have these printers. These printers, as it looks, are directly connected to a computer on the in their in their department. One computer. Okay. Um, it's been working like this since the originally introduced computers during the early 1990s. During this time, workers needing to use computers were very few, and very few tasks were computerized. Over the subsequent years, more PCs were purchased and simply added to this network. You know how. It happens okay so hopefully already without even going into any more detail you already you're already thinking to yourself this is big problems big problems I can identify straight away can I okay well even because obviously this is a very poor example of a network and hopefully I'm making it quite as easy as possible to identify some problems there's no in-house IT support first of all and not only knowledgeable workers so people who have a bit more computer uh, knowledge the numbers are just doing what they're doing wherever however they like it uh, are getting things to work unfortunately this has just meant opening access to all resources to everyone if that's not triggering some alarm bells already that should because if you open full access to everyone for everything yeah that's not really very secret or anyone can access anything right that's pro problematic each user stores their files on their own PC. So they've got their internal hard drive, they put their files there. But how does that mean, what does that mean as far as sharing with each other? How can we work on something together if it's on my computer, not on yours, or not on the network? Okay. Um, some, uh, sometimes uh, they are sharing these files to each other, sometimes by network sharing, just for the peer to peer network sometimes by just copying into a removable media such as a USB stick, sometimes by using third-party storage, uh, what's it, online storage like Dropbox, 
okay each department has a printer that's connected to a specific computer and if anyone wanted to print they have to take their files with a usb stick go to that printer and print okay problems all over the place right and obviously that's a lot of waiting it's very inefficient okay very inefficient very problematic and i'm sure you can think of many many things that's wrong with this okay the idea of this assignment is to identify what's wrong with it so given that that's your information what other information would you like to know before you start planning planning a new network for these guys what would you like to know maybe maybe something you'd want to know is how much space do you actually use okay there's no point building a demo web uh, file server with a certain capacity if you don't know how what capacity they actually need how do they use their computers okay so here is where you would put what other information you like to know okay and the next part is how are you going to get this information so all this information is what you like to know are you going to get this information by doing an interview with someone or doing a survey or, or how okay so basically this is where you develop an apparatus whether that be survey questionnaire interview question okay if you do do a survey it, it the survey might be good for collecting data from a large group of people whereas the interview questions or questionnaire might be good for a smaller number of people and also think about how you're going to record this information there's no point asking about these questions if you have no way of recording it's a waste of time for everyone okay so now once you've prepared your apparatus okay whether that be a survey or a questionnaire or interview questions whatever you make an appointment with me okay we can do this by skype for business or face to face or in person or something like that but we will go through this there's this verbal requirement for the competencies so you have to be able to communicate in the workplace effectively verbally and i'll be that's what i'll be looking for and obviously your questions have to make sense and has to be in the right context so now from your analysis from your questions from the scenario what problems exist okay peer-to-peer -peer network is the number one problem isn't it everyone has there's no centralized management no centralized authentication all that kind of stuff we spoke about today other things there's probably tons of other things as well earthy is also uh, is also concerned about um, licensing we all know about microsoft and how much their licensing costs and so forth so he's set aside ten thousand dollars for this project how much how many how what you need to do a bit of research on the licensing for server 2016 and the client access licenses that goes with it and work out how much is required for 67 employees okay so this is a bit of um it says show you work out this is you know how we talked about oral component this is a numeracy component obviously 67 client access licenses at certain amount of per license and a server couple of server licenses depending on how many servers you actually want at this this much work it out okay show you working out and scope summary so basically scope summary is pretty much just like if you're going to buy a new car you have a list of all the features you're going to get are we going to get active directory groups permissions dhcp server windows update server whatever what are we going to get okay and obviously use a, a network diagram so if you've never used visio before that's a great tool to use and you get access to that through your office um, sorry your office 365 as well as for our portal and create a diagram of your new network design and explain how these things will address the problems you identified before so if you identify all these problems before obviously your solution is going to solve those problems aren't they hopefully there's not much of a solution if it doesn't solve the problems does it and finally it talks about migration versus upgrade remember we spoke about this yesterday the other day so explain the pros and cons and for this scenario which one would you choose okay calculate the storage again numeracy you found out how, you might have to ask how much storage it goes back to before how will you ensure that a single user or a group of users doesn't use 
all of the storage. Like, think about it. If we ha we share this computer with six other people, what is to stop one person from filling out the hard drive? Okay? Or on the servers? Okay? So, hint, hint, quotas. Okay, maybe research quotas. And alternative solutions. So, we don't want you to brainwash you to think only Microsoft. It's not just Microsoft in the world. There's also Linux and other operating systems. So, is there any alternatives to Active Directory? If there is, what is the Linux alternative? Okay, bit, do a bit of research. What is the Linux thing for Active Directory? Explain a little bit about it. What is the Linux thing about uh, file sharing? What is the Linux DHCP server, DNS server? And in Linux, how would we do backups? What program will we use? And that's it. Okay, so basically you can see Hopefully I've made it simple because I, yeah, just by reading that scenario and having a look at this diagram, a lot of things should be jumping out at you, okay? So remember how we talked about peer-to-peer -peer networking today versus domain uh, computers? That's one of the biggest things. And don't forget, when you identify problems, always have a solution, be a lawyer, okay? Don't ask questions you don't know the answer about, okay? So if you identify a problem, you don't have a solution, you sort of, sort of, you sort of hurting yourself, aren't you? So always come, uh, identify a problem that you can solve with your solution. You get me, guys? Makes it easier for yourself and and for me to mark. So basically, that's what I want you to work on in your for homework. Okay, start looking at that. Start getting your questions prepared, your apparatus prepared, and before we do the and book an interview with me. Okay. Um, I would like to see your questions first before you do the interview, just to make sure you're on the right track and your questions are relevant. And there's, a, you know, obviously, anytime we have anything, there's always a possibility that you'd be asking questions of the totally the wrong things. So what I don't want you to do is try to do the WNF project here. We don't care about ADSL connection. We don't care about internet connection. We don't care about what routers you have or what switches you have. We don't care. This subject is all about Active Directory Windows Server. So that's what I want you to concentrate on. I don't want you to go turn it into the ESS assignment where you're talking about hardware upgrades and this and that and start asking questions about what uh, what, uh, what hard drives and how many CPUs or what, how much RAM they have on the workstation. Who cares? They're adequate. Okay. The subject is all about Server 2016, Active Directory and services. Concentrate your solutions and your assignment on that. In real life, of course, it all goes into one, but in this subject, obviously, it's for the subject. Okay?